Hey guys, welcome to part six of me breaking down my trip to the Philippines from last year. If you haven't seen the last five and don't care to see them, I'm basically just going through all of my footage for my four week long trip while providing context, sharing stories and all that great stuff. Again, I will most likely be looking in this direction throughout most of the video because I have an outline on my computer, which is right here of all the stuff that I would like to say. So sorry about that and let's just get started. So we are exactly to the day halfway through my trip and things definitely start to wind down from here since most of the major events had already taken place the next day after my mom's big birthday bash was a super chill day just had some Greenwich pizza and a few of my cousins came over and they actually played Super Smash Bros for the very first time so that was a very proud moment for me the day after that we went island hopping we woke up super early in the morning loaded the cars left way later than I was told we would be leaving because Filipino time and headed to Panglao where our island hopping would take place once there, we boarded our dingy little boat and headed to the first stop. Fun fact, our boat stopped for some reason on the way there and one, I can't swim, two, I'm terrified of the ocean, like of open water in general, and three, I have really bad motion sickness, so as soon as the boat stopped, just terror upon terror. Luckily, we weren't stopped for too long and eventually made it to the island. Was I relieved, you asked? Let's let this boat answer that. On this island, we went snorkeling, so I lathered on some reef-friendly sunscreen, put on my life jacket, and then we were ready to go. I actually had one of those cool waterproof cases with me so that I could take really great footage, but it was just too risky considering my whole trip, nay, my whole life is on my phone. So I just left it with my mom and decided to just live in the moment, which I literally never do. So I obviously have no footage of that, but as you can guess, it was really awesome. I saw a lot of fish, obviously, and a sea turtle too, but I probably would have seen more if uh, you guys stopped using plastic straws. And can someone tell me why it's so difficult to get back on the boat between snorkeling stops? Like, I know for me, I have no upper body strength, but at one point, our boat literally flipped over because my cousin was struggling so hard to get back on it, and I literally smacked into the water. It wasn't ideal, but it did make for some good laughs or whatever, and, you know, I still had a great experience, of course. 10 out of 10 would recommend, even if large bodies of water scare you as they do me. And after that, we were on to the next island. This island was definitely my favorite of the two because it had like one of those sandbars that you walk on, which I've never experienced before. So that was really fun to see and just to play around in. On? Play around on? Play in. Another fun fact, I actually don't really like the beach, but beaches in the Philippines really be hitting different. I mean, the clear blue water with the clean white sand, heavenly. Speaking of heaven, I noticed that this island was very Jesus-centered, if you will. There was a giant Jesus statue floating on the water, and then there was this tree draped in rosary beads, which was actually really stunning and very serene to just stand under, like it made you feel safe. Also on this island were a ton of birds, just a ton. And another fun fact, I hate birds. I'm terrified of birds. They're creepy, scary, annoying. Ah, too close. Ah, stop. Ah. I do believe my hatred stemmed from the fact that I got attacked by a chicken when I was younger. But this time I wanted to face my fear and join in on the whole feeding of the birds action because you could purchase some bird feed on this island. And I have to say it wasn't as terrifying as I thought it'd be. Still terrifying, but not as terrifying. These birds were definitely bold as hell, jumping on people's head and shoulders and whatnot. But I guess... It was pretty cool to see them all up close and personal. I think we had originally planned to go to one more island afterwards, but I think everybody was kind of over it at this point and we're all beached out, so we decided to head back. We decided to eat at this restaurant for dinner, which I'm not even going to attempt to say the name of because my southern accent really comes out when I do try to say it, but what I can say is that this place had nice decor, an amazing view, and delicious food. So yeah, we ate dinner and then headed home. 
The next day was definitely another rest day for us. Literally just straight chilled in the house all day. Had some pizza, had some Dunkin' Donuts. And then played bingo with the girls, which is great because it was the first time I felt like I had an actual bonding moment with my baby cousins. Like they even let me in on their inside joke. Ooh. Bingo! cutest i love them and i miss them oh and i also basically watched my brother play sims the whole entire day as well the following day we headed back to the city and went to island city mall we started off with lunch at this place called harbor city the food was delicious just like your typical asian food and i also tried chicken feet for the first time which was a lot better than i expected it to be but also a lot more bony than i expected it to be but i felt like i should have known that already just by the looks of a chicken foot itself after lunch, we walked around a bit at this little market thing they had set up in the mall, which was really cute. And then we did some shopping for pasta lubang and such, but mostly souvenirs for friends back home. Once we got all the things we wanted to bring back home to America, we ate again, but this time at the Buzz Cafe. We ate some halo halo, which I was very hesitant to eat at first because the last time I was in the Philippines, I ate halo halo and had major stomach issues, major poopy problems. But this time I was like, f it, because I know it's gonna be worth it. We did initially come here just for the halo halo, but ended up ordering some cassava fries and two pizzas, basically just having a full on dinner. Then we went back home and that was the end of that day. The next day we ran a little bit of errands, but I was mostly just tagging along, you know, always happy to be a background character. But can you guess where we went after errands? Island City Mall at KFC for lunch. Again, love the KFC in the Philippines. America wishes they were on this level. Then we went home where I just watched my brother play Sims again for the rest of the night. This was also actually my very last day in Behold because I would be leaving for and staying in Cebu for the remainder of my trip, but you'll have to go to the next video for all of that as this is where I will be ending part six. If you'd like to see the next part, go ahead and click the eye up above or the link down in the description box below and I'll see you guys there. Bye!